Right, here's how to use straps. Okay, you're holding it like this. You're gonna thread it through here. Now you might get confused and on the way you do it. This is how you know the right way. You set it through, and when you're holding it, it when you're looking at it, it should look like this. So the way I'm looking at it, right? If you're looking at it from your way, because this bit here, we want it to come across our palm. So when we stick our hand through, you're gonna pull that tight until it's tight around your wrist. Sometimes you'll have a branding there or something, or you might have a wrist pad there. That's how you know it's in the right place. You pull it tight until it's against your wrist like that there. And then this part here is the part that goes under the bar. You should know, because it should come across your palm like this. This way here, see those lines on your hand? It should come across that way. You should be holding it there like that. You're holding it like that, like that. This is the part that goes underneath the barbell or dumbbell always under never over always under how many times do you wrap it under i like to just do it once and then motorbike it tight by motorbike you put it over and then you squeeze it until it's freaking tight in there where you lift the barbell or the dumbbell up you can't even feel it in your grips you do it on this side right and then you do the same exact thing on this side so it should be coming across that way so it should be like opposite right so if you have it right pull that one tight you pull that one tight now you're ready to go. You've got them in this position here. Under, always under. Some people do like to use the whole length. I find that kind of unnecessary sometimes. You might, you just go under once. Here's a dumbbell for an example, All right? So if you're using, you can, these are good for RDLs maybe. We're coming up to the dumbbell here. We're going underneath, right? Wrapping it over, wrapping it over, right? Once you've got it over once, then you grab it there first and then you motorbike it tight until it's tight as in there and then pretty much you're just letting the strap kind of hold it you're not really using too much grip power which means you can focus less on holding the actual heavy dumbbell versus worrying about your grip do that there the trick is to get good at doing both because you're going to do your left hand i would recommend you do your weak hand first so do your left hand first and then use your right hand because you'll be more better at doing it that way so do it there too do it there on the on the barbell dumbbell same thing real quick again barbell like cross under always under so you've got dumbbell you're going underneath once right motorbike tight and then they should be good like that same thing with the barbell so same thing with the barbell right you want this here you're going underneath right you're going underneath and then we're grabbing it once and then motorbiking it tight as we can. This is because I like to do it once because if you need to release it, what you need to do is just like let go once. If you do it more than once, right, it's kind of unnecessary and it might be big for your hands to grip, right? So you just need one under motorbike it like that and then you've got to deadlift or do whatever you need to do. And then that way, if you need to release, you just let go and it drops out.